and these are glow in the dark so maybe we'll uh, turn off the lights when we're done and see if anything happens I'm Mike Dimas and this is Pinball Shenanigans all right check out what I got in the mail today been waiting for this package probably somewhere close to three weeks is my guess let's see is there a date on this thing is there a date is there a date uh date of mailing 12 31 so december 31st so all of january no it's january what is it january where's my um calendar it's about the 17th so maybe not quite three weeks but felt like forever this may possibly be the very first package I've got from Titan Pinball. I feel like I might have used their products before though, but it might have been from someone else's order. I just don't recall. Oh yeah. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That is a friggin' bag full of awesomeness. I really hope I ordered all the correct sizes it's very well labeled oh yeah i forgot i got some extra uh, lexan washers too oh, here, oh oh did you see my address did you just see my address you probably did oh you bastards they killed kenny all right well uh don't come to my house and uh, try and steal my ghostbusters rubbers i want them all, all to myself all right, so what was I going to do? I was going to say, if by chance all my rubbers are correct, here's the list for you. $61. That would be in Canadian dineros, I believe. Or is it... Um, can, wait, I meant to say US, but is it actually Canadian? I don't recall now. You think they would bill in US, but not necessarily. Hey, check this out. Titan pinball sticker. That's pretty cool. I feel like I have one of these, but we're going to go stick that up somewhere. Texas Pinball Festival, March. Did I tell you that if we officially canceled our trip to California? It never, dra never drains in Southern California. One of the biggest pinball tournaments especially now that Papa and Pinberg are really no longer. Um, so, yeah, it's just ugh, three planes there, three planes back. If you get COVID along the way, then uh, so much for your vacation. All the logistics involved, testing, flights being canceled and moved around. There's just too much, too much risk. Um, let's go look for fun. Let's go ceiling hunting, because this is going to be a Ghostbusters episode, now that I have those, but once I install those, then what? What am I going to have to do after that? Hopefully I could install a few plastics. I'll only be able to get so far, because I don't have my, my glow balls, but Titan Pinball, look, there's Comet. But yeah, so I guess my whole point is that this could be a very short episode. So, um, I'm making up content as we go. Comet, do I not have Titan? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Can you tell? I've used Comet once or twice. Pensanati Monster Fish Mod. <laughs> okay, so... Maybe I don't have Titan. I swear I've seen this logo somewhere. If I find it, I'll let you know where I found it. But, comment. <laughs> okay. All right. So, you know, maybe I'll uh, time lapse some rubber action. I'll uh, bring you and the rubbers and the tripod over to Ghostbusters. But yeah, I haven't really touched it for three weeks. So, maybe two. Because I think I did rebuild flippers and stuff in the last episode. I kind of forgot it's been so long, but let's get to it. All right, 
is the first time I've ever done colored rubbers. Ever. Um, I might have done translucent slingshot rubbers. And, yep, yeah, first full kit from Titan. So, I'm just going to wing it for now. I left on the old rubbers just so I can easily swap them. I know what sizes. I don't know if I'll need to consult the manual or not. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to time lapse this and, uh, you know, we'll see you on the other side. Okay, that's starting to look a little better. A um, couple of things. I can't remember if that one goes there or that one goes there. When I took it off, I didn't pay very close attention. Um, there's some weird... Let me grab this camera here. Not really weird, but... Two-tiered rubber posts going on over there that I got to deal with. Um, obviously there's areas here, like maybe that's a triangle, no, because I, I pulled off a black one off here. Anyway, I might have to refer to a couple of photos. Uh, for the slingshots, I got two and a quarter inch rubbers and two and a half inch. These are the two and a halfs, so they're a little big, so I went with the two and a quarter. So I'm pretty sure that's what those are. And, uh, some of these are going to be, should be at least four each or three each for the lane guides mostly and then uh, definitely some leftovers there so I'm gonna have to refer to some photos there's a post here that looks like probably one of these guys go here so um, yeah look doesn't it look so much better than just black you don't even notice the rubbers are there now you actually see color and these are glow-in-the-dark so Maybe we'll uh, turn off the lights when we're done and see if anything happens. I notice when you stretch them, they kind of go white. So, like this guy here, you know, look at this. He's very green now, but when you kind of... Now he's got like, kind of white. Yeah, so when you stretch them, they go a little bit white-ish. Anyway. So I won't bore you with the rest of the install, but I will uh, finish dealing with all these rubbers. They're friggin' awesome. Love them. See what I need. And uh, I'll be back when all is said and done. Alright, lane guide time. I need four of each size. And it looks like I have four of each left, so I must have did something right. Alright. Thank you. 
All right, lane guides are done. I couldn't remember if the, like the two sizes of rubbers, they're different actually. At the top is different than the bottom. I couldn't remember which went where, but I consulted the chart and it shows the top ones are number one, they're three sixteenths. The bottom ones, number two, are five sixteenths. So the smaller ones go on the top. And there we go. Looks pretty good. I will uh, move on to whatever's left, and then I'll be back. All right, look what I found. More rubbers. Alright, was just scrolling through photos and found a couple things that I can just stick on, so I might as well do it. Uh, these slingshots normally have these big metal washers, and I was about to install them, and I thought, you know what? They're kind of ugly. So, where did I put my Lexan ones? Here they are. So why don't we go with something a little less ugly? They're not quite as big, but I imagine they'll do the trick. Maybe my goodie bag, possibly, has extra slingshot plastics just in case. Oh yeah, that'll do the job just fine and dandy. But doesn't that look better than this? You know, that'd be on the underside, obviously, but you can't even see them now. So a little washer goes here. This standoff goes here. Got a nut here. Oh, I'm gonna lose my nuts. Gonna lose my nuts. Okay, let's not. One there. One there. Then I'll tighten all that up. But yeah, I like that. I already got a use for those uh, washers. All right, getting close to accounting for all of the rubbers. This guy went there. This guy's done. I went ahead and tightened all the posts too. I almost forgot the rubbers under here and here, but as you can see, Lexan washers on the slingshots, they're all installed. So I initially had this two and a half inch rubber uh, that was for here, or is that three inch? Maybe this is through, what does this say? Uh, this is Titan, it says Titan. Um, well, I think this is three or two and a half. Anyway, I ordered one size. Let's say that's two and a half. I ordered like a two and three quarter just in case that was a little tight. Um, but uh, whatever size was called for there is the size I actually used. These guys are actually a little tight. I'm guessing these are twos and probably two and a quarter would have sufficed there. It would have made it a little happier. See a little bit of white there where it's a little strained. So slingshots, if you're going tight and do the two and a quarters, not the two inch that the machine recommends or that the manual recommends. What machine has two inch rubbers for the slings like in the history of pinball? Maybe a couple, but not many. They're usually two and a half, but go two and a quarter. Anyway, that's all done. These are the two and a two and a halves that I ordered in case the two and a quarters were no good. This was the extra for here. That all that leaves is these post rubbers, which could be the rest of the guys that go on the plastic, because there's a few more of those, at least four, I believe. Forget what goes here. Maybe a rubber needs to go there. Now I gotta figure out how all my gates and everything go on and in what order. Do I take this off in a certain order like I normally do? Like kinda going this way? I think I did. So I should start putting stuff on going that away. That's what I think I'll do. There's the washers I'm not gonna use. And uh, we'll see how far we can get before I get stuck. But uh, yeah, getting there. 
All right, the sea witch table is looking pretty sparse now. Uh, there's a few things I can't install yet. These gates. That's some extra hardware that uh, I need to install once I can. In the end, I ended up with one more of these than, I don't know, than I needed, I guess. But there's the ramp. I don't know if I mentioned, but I already cleaned that guy up, so it's ready to go. But let's have a look at the play field here. It is mostly done. This is just kind of dry fit there because I need to wait for my glow balls. And then there is like a gate goes here or here and here. I don't know. There's some stuff that goes here. Can't install that until my captive ball is in there. Um, but yeah, so there's enough from the manual to give you enough of these posts to do pretty much everything. There are two posts that did not have any rubber on them. Now, I'm not sure why they chose to put some in some locations and not in others, but probably by design, I'm guessing. But with the extra spare one I have, I mean, I guess I'll just throw it there because why not? But yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, if you're gonna go by the manual and you wanna order Titan rubbers, I would do it by the book for the most part, except for, get two and a quarters for here. And whatever these are, it wouldn't hurt to go up a quarter size. I forget what they are. But uh, yeah, so, I zoomed out. There it is, it's looking pretty awesome. Um, once I get my measles mods order, then that'll be uh, pretty much the last thing to do in the last video in the series. Well, that will be a quick one, and then probably have to do a gameplay video, of course. I think I have I done one before. I forget on uh, what what is now Henry's Ghostbusters. But yeah, so. One more package to arrive, and then I can finish her off. Anyway, I'm loving what I'm seeing. And, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, and one last thing. Oh, yeah.